You said Aries men are for caps? No. Maybe I shouldn't be closed-minded about any of that. But no. Cancers are emotional. Yes. But I'm Carl Thomas Jr. Call me Carla. Because I'm emotional. I can't let go. You home right now? You just left the A? Aw. Hopefully you're having fun. And hopefully it's not freezing. You said Taurus are where it's at? Uh -uh. Not not towards you. Just I haven't had the best of luck with Taurus or Gemini men or Virgo men. Virgo, Taurus, Gemini. Aquarius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but both of my daughters are Aries. Hey, Keisha. She said Team Sagittarius. Y'all know oddly enough. I was always attracted to Scorpios. <gasps> Isn't that something? Because I thought Scorpios were difficult. So you please. Oh, you like answer, uh, man? Yeah, I was like, this guy had me gone. You sound very funny. I don't. So a man will have to, you know, guys think I'm sexy. How many children do I have? I have two. I have a 23-year-old and a 12-year-old. They both will have birthdays in a week and then two weeks. So they'll be 13 and 24. God bless them. Um, Virgos. Yeah, um, me and Virgos don't. Mm -mm, we don't rock. I love everybody, but. You said I'm about to drop it off for a Leo. Nope, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> drop it off for Jesus. But, um, yeah. I can't remember. Would I date a Capricorn man? I respect Capricorn man. And we, I know where you come from with your train of thought. But I need my opposite that can relate to me, but not. Because if you do everything exactly like me, I don't want to become Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You remember that movie? It's a good movie. And I just, honestly, I just, who want what's good for me and to me. I, I can be surprised. Because I don't want to block my blessings. Like, no, you a Leo, psh, out of my face. Or you a this, out of my face. No, I'm not like that. But if you're asking me based on experience. I had a thing for a cancer. Recently. And not, not even a sexual thing, obviously. Um, But it was the mental. And I'm going to say biosexual. If y'all don't know that about me. I like people to make moves on me with their mind. Like, I, I like a man who's intelligent. And don't try to, like, game me and seem articulate and intelligent in order to get me, because I'll recognize through that bullshit. Because the cancer that I'm talking about is very, very smart, and he don't even talk like that. He talk like he's straight out of Brooklyn. And you gonna respect it because he's smart. And it ain't about being in books and graduating from Harvard. It's just he got street sense. He got common sense. He got uh, know how to be a man sense, know how to be a father sense, know how to handle his business sense. Very strict and structured, which I need that because I'm a late person. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm always late. And if I'm early, I'm paranoid. I'm like, I need to be just at least 30 minutes late to feel okay. Anybody understand that? It's a sick feeling, too. Hey, boo. What up, Q? Um, yeah, that street smart is sexy. Because when I go somewhere with you, if I'm protecting you, you got a problem. But I can, but I don't prefer it. Um, you said 50 Cent. No, 50 Cent, that's my homie. And so is his girl. No, this person, no. No, it's not somebody that you would know. You wouldn't know them. You could, but I doubt it. Hey, boo. My sign, I'm a Capricorn. Oh, 